it has been a hot minute. Welcome back to the channel guys. So I am heading on another trip. I've been back from LA for four days now and I've just about recovered from jet lag. I've been going to bed every day at like three in the morning, waking up at like midday, but today I had to get up at 6.30 to go to the gym. Before I'm traveling all the way to Cornwall. I'll explain more when I'm in the taxi because I'm very ready late. So let's go. So as I was saying, I am off to Cornwall. Mm -hmm. I'm now in the taxi. What's your name? Fai. Fai? Yeah. Where are you from? Vietnam. Oh, Vietnam. I've been to Vietnam. Yeah. I'm, I motorbiked from north to south. My friend. Beautiful. One of my favorite countries. I've been here since I was three years old. I've never been back. You, what? You need to go back. Vietnam's incredible. I have family there, but I haven't got the urge to go back. Well, mate, I, I, that means technically I'm more Vietnamese than you because I've been there before you. <laughs> of course, we're caught in more London traffic. I had to have breakfast on the go today. This is it. Bear Bell Shake. I've had two of them with a green shake as well. You know, I like my standard greens, but I really want to get there fast and I feel really bad because I'm going to be that guy who turns up and is just like, hey, I'm running late. Thanks. So we're in the back of the bus with all the gang. Everyone's a bit tired because obviously it's very early, but they've given us this lovely official Big Sup 40. I'm now wondering if he was also which has our glasses in it. I'll show you when I arrive at the hotel. Five hours later. What's up guys? I've just arrived here in the amazing St. Ives in Cornwall. Tell you what, I haven't been here in years. Uh, I grew up here as a kid and I've got the sickest room ever. Basically, we're here with a brand called Taylor Morris. They're a brilliant eyewear company in London. And I wear their glasses all the time. You've probably seen me on my reels and my content. I wear them quite a lot. So they've kindly invited me down. I've got a few days here. So I'm going to show you guys around the whole, whole trip. First things first, I have to show you where I'm staying because it is absolutely beautiful. This is my bedroom. I've got two singles and I've got this awesome little upper bit where I was literally just filming. So check out this. It's like obviously a bit too small for me, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Imagine just having this. And they've kindly left me a nice goodie bag in there with some treats, which is so nice. So we come through. This is like the hallway, the front area, but it's just such nice decor, proper beachy vibes. This is one of the bedrooms as well. And obviously, Look how good the bathroom is. This is just <laughs> insane. That shower is incredible. And you've got a couple of other bedrooms. I didn't quite get a double because obviously I'm not in a relationship with the guys who are. Kitchen slash living area is incredible. Look how nice this is. So, so nice. They've left us some chocolate, some local bread, some scones, and I'm a big fan of scones. And then the living area is even nicer as well. Check out this. Oh, this is like house goals. And then to make things even better, I'm gonna show you the outdoors area as well. Cause it, right, how do I get out? A few moments later. Would be helpful. Two very boring minutes later. The hammock. Oh, they got a sauna. Insane. Absolutely wicked got a barbecue area. You've got the wetsuits and the boards we're gonna take out as well. Oh, don't you dare tell me we got a hot tub. Holy shit, boys, we got a hot tub. Wow, this is absolutely stunning. So we have plenty of activities. This evening we've got some drinks tasting and dinner, and then we've got some surfing and loads more to look forward to tomorrow. So I'll catch up with you guys when we go for drinks shortly. Pentar non-alcoholic drinks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, He's been injured, hasn't he? Yeah, he's got- To be fair, the amount of drunk in LA. Nice to be on a non-alcoholic drink. So we've got food coming over shortly. And also the guys arrived in a Morgan motor. Check out this. Taylor Morris do a collaboration with Morgan and actually have the collaboration pair of glasses. It's a fucking beautiful car. Right, so this is the menu. Should we get rid of that pen? I'm a Ollie here. Are you excited for this food boy? This looks absolutely delicious. So this is the street food they've got from the local area, which I'm pretty sure is just like next door. Look how good it is. I mean, this is right up my street. That charcuterie board looks absolutely delicious. Are you excited? Oh, she's sorry, she's not, she's not good. That's, um, that's uh, being deleted. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. 
Oh, thank you, you very much. Uh, that'd be 500,000 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> you fucker. I've got a cameraman here. Hey, buddy, say hello. Hello. <laughs> Morning, guys. So, I slept absolutely horrendous last night. My jet lag is killing me. But we had such a good meal. Uh, so much good food with the team. Uh, now, this morning, I've had a coffee. I'm feeling good and energized. Had a slow morning, to be fair. But um, I'm going to go for a run because I ate so much last night. I feel a bit like, oh, I feel a bit like, oh. And the coastal uh, run should be beautiful. I start every morning off with my greens, motion, mushroom blend. They're the three things I have every morning. And then I've had some BCAAs as well and some creatine. Now, I'm going to get my shoes on. I'm going to go running. I'm going to feel good. Let's get running down that coast. I'll try to bring you guys along for a little bit of it as well. Let's go. So, I'm coming up to 3k in. Average pace. 425, gorgeous, it's like a countryside, thin roads, what a day, good vibes. I feel pretty bad, but we had to leave by 11, everyone was trying to call me, but my phone was obviously on sleep mode, or fitness mode, so it doesn't take any calls, and I get back at like, 11 and well 10 45 and I had to leave at 10 30 and I was like oh my god I'm so sorry so I missed the uh, like rock climbing thing and I'm absolutely gutted because doing things like that is so fun like I was really excited to go get ready quick shower head out and I missed it and I feel a bit gutted and I feel really bad as well because obviously these people all go on they go on so much trouble to organize all this good stuff for us and then people like me just going don't turn up on time, so I feel really bad. I feel all, lo I feel all lonely. <laughs> I am out here trying to get as much content as I can, but it's so frustrating because the light keeps going in and out of the clouds. It's really hard to do by myself. This is my second outfit I've gone for. I've got the Rod and Gun uh, pullover jumper. I freaking love this color in a light blue. I've also got the Rod and Gun shirt on as well. And I've actually got, in fact, you know what, funny enough, it's head to turn Rod and Gun. Got their beige chinos, uh, beige jeans on as well, and then the Levi's trainers. I only packed one pair of trainers with me because I actually had no room in my bag, but I'm gonna go out, try and get some content with self timer, and show you guys we're about to I've got my big deck on. I've got my camera stand. The sun's actually perfect. The only issue is we've got 35 minutes to get this done. We've got to get down to the location, make sure my camera actually works, make sure the Wi-Fi will connect, get in the right spot and get a few shots in 34 minutes now. I'm still not there, but uh, let's see what I can do. Oh, look how stunning it is. It is literally gorgeous. So genuinely one of the biggest problems I have when it comes to shooting content is my hair. So as you guys can tell, it looks like I've been in a bar fight with the wind and it is one. Um, getting the content down there was almost impossible. Um, I <laughs> Self clicker started breaking and it wasn't taking the photos and the wind was just everywhere so Coastal shots like that can be so difficult when the wind's not in your favour, but it is what it is. You have good days, you have bad days. Today's been an okay day. We've got some content, we haven't got most of it, but it's okay. The only reason why I wanted to get all of it today was because this is the only day we have the sun, and um, tomorrow it's raining apparently. Casual vibes, but I'm looking forward to some pizza, and I'll show you guys what we cook up. So I'm fry it. Is there a roller as well? Do you have a roller? No. Right, so what's this class? What's this stuff called? Semolina? Yeah. Right, so we start with the semolina. Yeah. I feel like I've got a lot of pressure <laughs> to begin. I want to be like those guys in Marlin. Well, they spin it. They spin it around there. Yeah. Really, yeah. <laughs> How do they do it when they spin it all around? Keep <laughs> hold it. Oh, I almost went on the line. <laughs> So pop a bit in the middle, and I think using a chef's wrist. <laughs> chef's use... wrist. No, don't wing, don't waste. It's vegan cheese. That was. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 that's got to be. I thought. Well, extra. I like a little bit of extra. <laughs> think that's pretty nice. That's pretty done. Don't you think that looks alright? Uh, yeah. It looks out of ten. It looks, like it's it it's looks heavy. Heavy. <laughs> it, does, it looks dense. You go first. You're gonna be full. Go on next. I'm gonna I've got a man of an appetite. <laughs> I think this is actually like quite irresponsible to be chefing. <laughs> right, these guys are all just taking the piss now. <laughs> Rude. This is the final product. I mean, it looks a little bit dense, but we've got 
mushroom chorizo, extra chorizo, some spicy ham, tomato, but I didn't put vegan cheese on, because I thought it was normal cheese, and then I got um, normal cheese as well. So let's give it a go. Yes, there you go. I wouldn't, I wouldn't look away from it for that long. You smell what the rack is cooking? <laughs> I don't know if you can swear on your channel, you fucked it mate. Go in on this angle and then bring it round with the paddle. Ah, yeah. oh, the really char grilled the back. <laughs> I mean that bit. Okay, so what lessons have you learned from this experience? <laughs> don't put your hands anywhere near a pizza oven because it's yeah. actually quite hot. Yeah. <laughs> How appetising does that look, guys? Well, wait till you, wait till it's not done yet, is it? <laughs> I think half of it looks good. <laughs> oh Do you reckon that's done? Oh my god. What do we even like? It's um, charcoal based pizza, <laughs> and uh, that's exactly what I cooked with. But, I mean, if you just completely avoid that bit there and just get the, the, this, this quarter here. I don't necessarily no, no, think I that think looks it. that. How much are you saying? Twenty percent good. Out of ten, what are you gonna rate it? Uh, a three. I would not want to eat that. Right, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> How's it coming along, there, Sid? <laughs> I, I mean, I'm just like... we can't even use the excuse it's gluten-free bread. <laughs> that is absolutely appalling. <laughs> I'm telling that one's mine, so guys, I get this doing? amazing pizza. He's that is... pretended it's his. No, no, you can cut the sound out there. <laughs> you nailed that. Oh, Alex. So, guys, darling, how's yours going? Any, any comment? Any comment? <laughs> Morning, gang. Second day here, and just woken up. Had a cold shower and a bit croaky, because yet again I slept terribly. I'm not sure if it's some sort of jet lag or I'm just not used to the beds. But I'm tired, but no excuses. I'm getting up and I'm getting running. So I'm gonna go 5K and then probably got a hit workout here with uh, one of the girls who's a trainer. Then we're going surfing. So lots of activities today, which is good. I like activities. I like to keep busy. I like to keep fit and healthy. But first things first, greens, mushroom blend, motion. I need a coffee as well, but it's my kit. I've got this Reese slash Castor uh, running top on. I've got my shorts, which are the compression shorts from Presio and the Nike runners. It is a horrible day out there today, so running ugh, looks grim, but we'll get it done. Let's go. drinking a coffee in the middle of the street because I have decided to walk down and have myself a morning swim. As you guys know, I like going down to the serpentine in the morning. So I've decided to go down to the beach. It's about 12 degrees. Let's go for a little dip. Bloody excited. So I'm in a wetsuit, heading down to the surface school. We're going surfing. The sun is actually coming out in a couple of hours. I think we might miss it with a bit of shame, but I'm super excited because I haven't been surfing since I was in Bali. So we are here at the beach where I ran earlier. What was wild there? And all the gang got our boards and we're about to go into the crazy waves over here. So that was an hour of fun, pain and exhaustion. But it was so much fun trying to catch all the waves and it was so difficult. But when you caught one, it was just like the most exhilarating feeling ever. Like, it's like you want to be able to ride that wave forever. Such a good feeling. But you've got to have serious resilience just to keep going and going and going because the amount of failures you do or go through is absolutely countless. But sick time, sun's out, ready to enjoy the afternoon. Can't not go to Cornwall and have a Cornish pacey, can I? <laughs> St. Ives Little Beach. Absolutely freaking vibes. 
Now this looks like a little bit of us. And they're closed. Oh, I'm a massive flapjack fan. Play local, local music. So we've come to the, uh, the local pub and this bloke here keeps telling us to try this cider and I've done exactly the opposite. And I don't want to drink an Amadardo. He ain't happy with me, this guy. Gang's all here. Hi everybody. <laughs> uh, we're going to sit outside, have a drink and then we've got dinner plans evening at 8 o'clock. So we're super excited about the food. We've got a private chef coming, it's going to be delicious. He's got having his first beer, uh, taking my little bro for his beer. <laughs> The following day. So what you can see there, guys, is me drinking a coffee in the middle of the street. I have decided to walk down and have myself a morning swim. As you guys know, I like going down to the serpentine in the morning. So I've decided to go down to the beach. It's about 12 degrees. Let's go for a little dip. So glad. 